Hello YouTube, Jeff Steele here with Steele Navigator. Today's video topic is on how to get an oil filter unstuck. Many of you out there have probably experienced such a situation. You've got the oil drained out of your vehicle. You've got the drain plugged back in. Last step is to remove the old filter to put on a new. And then you go to loosen the filter and it's not budging. Maybe you got a hot date later, you start to go into a panic knowing you're burning time, burning money. What to do? Well, I have tried approximately 12 different types of oil filter wrenches. I've tried oil filter pliers. Now, also, in some situations, at least on two occasions, I've got an oil filter stuck. I've tried driving screwdrivers through the canister, attempting to turn the can. A lot of times these cans, even the premium filters, the, the metal is so thin, it'll just bend like a Coke can and crumple. For years, I used the K&N oil filter that has the nut welded on the back of the filter where you take a one inch wrench, put it on the nut, and if you're lucky, it doesn't strip out. But the majority of the times I found it would strip out. Now, perhaps if they would design a much more square nut, a, a more rigid, you might get a better grip, I'm not sure. But again, this being pot metal, even if it's very squared off, there's still a high probability, especially if it's really tight, you're gonna strip that nut out. Or strip a wrench out if you got a cheap tool. The oil filter wrenches, where it's, the, not the wrench, the oil filter pliers that you just go over and attempt to grip with all the muscle that you can stand to turn, I found that most of the time it just slips. Doesn't work either. It's a great idea but doesn't work. I cannot tell you how many times, also let me, let me make a note that depending on your vehicle, depending on where the oil filter is located, so for example, this is a Toyota 4Runner. The oil filter is literally right here on top of the block. Super easy to get to, it makes a world of difference. Now, on my Jeep Cherokee, it's way down in the side on the other side of the block I'm only five foot eight, and it's all I can do to reach down to even get to the filter. Secondly, I can only move about an inch at a time. And I'm, I'm quite strong, no matter how strong you are, if you can't get leverage to make a turn, to get a good grip to make a turn, it, your strength doesn't matter. So, when you're using a tool, you want to eliminate all slack, all slack possible. You don't want any slip with your tool because even if it slips a centimeter or an inch, that might make the difference in, in you breaking that filter loose or not breaking it loose. What is the solution? I mentioned I've tried about 12 different types of tools, spent countless Blood, sweat hours, cursing. I have literally snapped oil filter wrenches trying to get oil filters off before. Only recently have I discovered a solution. A friend of mine is a boat mechanic. That's all they do is work on boats. For those of you that know about boats with inboard motors, the engines are very concealed, hard to get to, most of the time, oil filters are very secluded and a real pain to access. Even if you can't access them, to have any type of movement to break one free, extremely challenging. And so we had a big discussion on this topic. What do you do when you can't get an oil filter to break free? And he said, well, I go to my boss and borrow his Blue Point oil filter wrenches. 
I said, Blue Point Oil Filter Riches, what's that? He said, well, that is a subsidiary brand of Snap-on Tools, which is pretty much the best tools on the planet. Snap-on, as far as I'm aware, they don't have their own oil filter wrenches. They've simply bought this brand because they knew it was the best brand out there for oil filter wrenches. And they, they have some other products as well. But the brand is called Blue Point. You can buy this pack of four, four different sizes. They're all the same style, just different sizes for about 93 bucks off the Snap-on truck. Lifetime guarantee, they break, they'll give you a brand new set. They might even give you your money back, but once you try them and see how well they work, you're not gonna want your money back, you're gonna want another tool. You really do get what you pay for, for tools out there, save you a ton of time, energy, and money. The first time I used this oil filter wrench, which was the last time I changed the oil in my Jeep Cherokee. Literally, I broke the oil filter. This is the first, I've changed the oil approximately every three months for over six years in this Cherokee. And this is the first, I'm not, let me first say I'm not sponsored by Snap-on or Blue Point Tools. I'd love to be Snap-on or Blue Point. If you're listening, I'm open to conversation. So, but currently not sponsored. The first time I put this oil filter wrench on, as soon as I started, I gripped immediately. There was no slack. So therefore I had all the leverage I could possibly get. Gripped, broke free. First time, no slip whatsoever. Sold, completely sold. The great thing about these is that you can fit the size that you need. Basically, you want the smallest wrench that you can possibly slide over while open. So in this situation, this would be the, the second wrench here. So you first want to get the right size, and then you just adjust, and these wrenches have little welded pieces on the inside of the bands and it really grips the can extremely well. 